Okay, today we're looking at the um, Z80 routing system on the Soundtrack CP6800 and the CM4400. As you can see, I've got both of the modules here, I've hooked them up. This is from the CM4400, you might recognise that little keypad. And this is from the guts out of a CP. And um, this is the one I had trouble with. The normal problem with these is the usual battery corrosion and um, there's a battery there and that corrodes and it just basically eats into the board. Now to run this system you don't need to have the battery on that's just for the memory so it doesn't need that. What you do need is um, minimum voltage requirements are plus 5 volts your digital ground there you need a small AC voltage around 6 six uh, volts AC and that will uh, fire it up. What I've done here is I've got a little small switcher, switch mode power supply, so there's my five volts which we're going to this one and I've looped it over. I've got my digital ground which is the white one. It's probably not that relevant on a, on a small um, situation like this but it, you, you, the digital and the analog ground should be separated. Uh, they are separated uh, on the main desks this reduces the sort of scanning noise and things like that but anyway so I've got uh, I've set that up anyway now my AC this is interesting it peculiar the AC is basically to create a small delay um, so that the I believe I don't know anything about microprocessors by the way just uh, bear with me um, this is a complete trial and error that I've the stuff I've picked up the um, these are the this is the, the EEPROM and basically this is the RAM here what happens the AC comes to the board it basically sets it's, there's a delay set up with these two timing caps here C12 which is a 25 microfarad and C13 is a 10 microfarad these should be replaced by the way if you're doing any work on these desks you know this, this is actually 30 years old this system 1986 look on there 23rd of the 9th 1986 that's 30 years anyway uh, always replace these two timing caps because it's very important that the delay is created or else the the z80 hasn't got time to read the information it's looking for the other essential part of the system is this little battery management i see here <clears throat> and um, the reason for that it will there's a halt line on the CPU they have these halt lines and resets and so forth I don't know much about them but I do know that and uh, if there's no IC in there it will tell the Z80 to shut down the Z80 here very hard wearing I don't think I've ever had one blow in fact this morning I put one around the wrong way and it still survived so they're very hardy I never known one to blow so these are original ones from 30 years ago um, you sh you'll see the clock pulse on here obviously that will tell you that the clock's getting in and um, if, it's, if it does fire up if you just put your scope on these pins you'll see plenty of activity kind of square waves jumping around and you know it's on but of course you'll know that anyway if the screen fires up you know and you can actually enter patch numbers and so forth so where were we oh the AC yeah this little AC very strange setup here but if you just uh, put AC straight off your transformer this is a 6 volt one it won't work you need to have a small DC component and the way they do it they've got a bridge rectifier here uh, this is wired onto the AC terminals of the bridge rectifier you have to take the the negative terminal of the bridge back to the ground uh, you leave the positive flying you see the cut off there this is the positive the negative has to go to ground this just gives a bit of a DC component I don't know why you need it but you do need it um, or else the you cannot create the delay and therefore the Z80 won't boot so um, I'll just go over quickly if you have if you've got one of these boards from 30 years and it hasn't been touched in 30 years which is normally the case you can take these the main ICs that you need to take out clean that you can file the legs off with a, a diamond file something like this and then you just take the IC out and file all the legs I mean sometimes the, the sockets get corroded um, I doubt if you'd have any trouble with these these are these are the basically the in and out um, control and address lines and these will be feeding up to the um, little display here LED display eight segment display sorry not LED as you know I don't know much about microprocessors 
so once you've done that um, the caps the battery battery management chip clean the legs hopefully you'll get it to fire up got your AC got your DC so I'm just going to fire this up just to show you and if I go to this is the CP um, keyboard so I'm afraid some of the buttons are missing there but as you see if you just key in some numbers and you get a response there you know that the system has fired up also this is the unlock so as you know if you've got one of these desks you need to unlock this the system as such and then you set your routing up so your master routing will see it and send the signal down through the buses so we know that that's fired up that's um, I think that's isolate or something let's reset um, and looking at the CM module, uh, we can again key in, as long as you can key some numbers in, this is the important thing. I mean if you're buying a second hand one of these and you don't know if this works, then I'd be very cautious because if this system goes down, uh, you'll have a lot of trouble, you won't be able to route things into mix. So really be careful if somebody's selling you this and they, they tell you, oh you don't need the routing, you do need the routing. And as you can see, I can put in a patch number 01, and if I hit unlock, you see the unlock light LED comes in, that will tell me that the Z80 is happy, it's all firing up. Oh, another thing, this ribbon sometimes comes adrift, and you'll find, as you can see, that's just gone into 01. If I move this ribbon around, that, that's pretty safe. I, ba I basically remade this off, I had to cut it, cut it off and remake it. You just push down on these little... Um, clamps here and that will cut through the wire good idea that right well that's it um, I guess I should sort of say something I mean John Stadius from Soundtracks who designed this in 1984 I think it was the first ones I mean well done John it's amazing 30 years down the line they're still going quite incredible really and you think of all the thousands of computers that have land, gone in landfill, and yet these just keep on going. Well done, John, and all the other guys. I think there was a guy called Dave as well who was had part of the, the original design back in um, the mid-80s. Well, there you go. Uh, if you get any trouble with these, you can email me at Studio Systems, Tim at Studio Systems. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheerio now.